Hello everyone, welcome to Mitya Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can handle missing or null values in PySpark. We are going to use same data set, just we have print few values to null so that I can show you the example. So let me first run this df.show. Okay, so if you clearly see, uh, there are uh, null values, all null values in the second and third had last row and after, before that three and then two and then one. So let me write the function to remove this df dot any. So df is our data set any denotes to null and there is one function called drop which helps to remove the rows. Drop dot show. Okay. So if I simply write this you know method drop then it will remove all the rows even one column have null value so if you see here in the sales only sales column have null values and other three columns are non-null values so the meaning is if we simply write this function it will remove all the reports okay but there is some scenario if we want to remove only those reports who have all the you know all the null values which have all columns are having null values okay so in this scenario uh, our second last and third last row should be removed so there are some parameters which we can pass in the job command and then uh, we can achieve this so let me show you so basically we have how and uh, then subset parameter in drop. I will show you. So let's first talk about how. So in how we have all or n. So meaning of all is it will remove the report whenever all the columns have null value. So let me show you. If I pass simply here, how equals to all. Okay. So see, it has removed second and third last row because all columns have null values. Okay. So we can achieve that using, let's say we want to remove only those who have all columns have null values. Then we can use this how equals to all. Now, let's say if I want to remove, if there is any null value. So for that, I can use how equals to any. So it will get a similar result, which we have ever done. If we don't pass, so by default, it is uh, any only, I can say. Okay. So this is about how. Okay. Now, let's say we have some requirement where we can decide. Let's say there are four columns. If we have only two non-null values, then we can show or three non-null values. So we can def we can you know decide the threshold as well. For that, what I can do? I can pass this. So for that, we have this threshold. We can decide. equals to two, three dot so. So see, we are looking three non-null values. So here in this row, we have three non-null values. Other than that, we are saying, uh, like if it is more than, uh, you know, less than three, then data should be low, should be removed. So that's why it is removing. Now, if I, you know, place that two instead of three, then see, see, 
now it is showing you data which have two non null values so likewise as per the business requirement you can decide and type if i show you one then see it will remove on it will ignore only these two reports because we have mentioned says hold equals to one okay so meaning uh if we have at least one non null value we can show the report okay now there is another one called subset so subset meaning of subset is basically i can decide the column name let's say we have four columns region category product name and let's say i want to remove the reports if region have null value if any column have null values so let me show you example so let me first if you see here if i select the region column then it will remove only these two values okay and if i choose the sales column then it will remove all these values because all have null so let me show you one by one choosing region and sales so for that i will simply write subset So see, there are two null values in region, and that has been ignored using this. Now, if I uh, choose sales instead of region, it will remove all these rows as well. So let me show you. So see, so likewise, as for the business requirement, uh, we can mention the column name here. okay now there is another thing like if i want to fill the values let's say if uh, we are aware uh, we will uh, get another file what happen in data we are housing scenario we get uh, you know file on different frequency basis so there are some scenario where we get data of some column uh, in the next file so for that what we can do for the timing we can replace or we can fill some values in null values so let me show you for that we have fill here we have dot any dot fill let's say i want to fill late arrival in all the null values so what i can do i can simply use this fill function and after that i can write this late arrival now let me run this so see wherever we have null values all the values are replaced into late arrival now here also we have scenario we want to replace only you know let's say region value uh, like uh, uh, we want to replace late arrival to only region column not other so for that what i can do i can simply write region here here value has been replaced and other than that we are seeing only null values okay now let's say if we want to replace in two columns let's say region and sales so what i can do i can use this list parameter list uh, basically uh, we define list using this uh, you know square bracket i can use this and i can type region and sales here and then i can run this so see we have late arrival here and here. so likewise as per the business requirement we can define okay so i hope video is helpful guys thank you everyone